You haven't changed your mind, have you? I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Nothing this wonderful has ever happened to me before, and I can't believe it's real. Which part? That you love me. I do. And that we're getting married. We are. And that we're going to be eternally happy. Are you happy now? Yes. Double it. Triple it. Quadruple it. That's how happy we're going to be together. I don't know. Once uh, everybody gets a load of this rock. <laughs> oh, this inconspicuous thing. Uh, when was the last time I told you how beautiful you are? You keep this up and I'll drag you out of here. Well, under any different situation, I'd be right out like that. But uh, we got to stay here for uh, two reasons. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me get the first nominee. Yeah, this is a big night for the hospital, and uh, I know she'd want me to represent her here. And what's the second? Well, this captive audience for our big announcement. <laughs> Why that? not? Every monkey monkey down this year. I'm the happiest guy in the world, and I want everybody to know how I feel. You are so sweet sometimes. But this is Alan Quarterman's evening, not ours. Well, you know, there, there's other ways to spread the word without actually getting up to a microphone and announcing it. What are you up to? Oh, uh, Amy! Come over, come over. Hi, Meg. Hi. Mm -hmm. You know, when you walk down the aisle and you say the vows, Surprise. <laughs> we had no idea things were progressing so quickly. Oh, well, you know when you know, and um, we knew. In that case, congratulations are certainly in order. Well, thank you. I do feel like the most fortunate woman in the world. No, oh, wait a second. I'm the one that's getting the better end of this deal. Uh, you're sure you're both ready? Let me put it to you this way. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy. She makes me happy. Well, then, of course, uh, we're happy for you. <laughs> well, then, how about a toast? Indeed. Thank you. Okay, I'll make it. <laughs> well, here's to being in the family, and God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. And I start to set my alarm clock, you know, because I want to get up in the morning, because I want to see her. So you see, she's, she's given me a reason, you know, a point. I understand that, and it's great. I mean, it really is. It's just that it, it, it's happened so, so quickly. Well, Lee I... has a point, you know. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't help but over here. Okay, I didn't mean to stop. No, you. it's all right. You know, you're right. It did happen quickly, and, and it was grief that brought us together. But that's not what this is about. No, it's not, and I think that we see each other for who we really are. I like what I see. <laughs> I just want you to know that we have spent a lot of time working on this. You know, it's what women call communicating. <laughs> yes, well, anyway, I want you to know that we are going into this prepared and with our eyes open. That's, that's good to hear. Although it isn't much help if your eyes are open and your mind isn't. Honey, you see, uh, would you do me a favor and bring me those, that glass over there? Would you do that? Gail, I'm not finished here. No? I thought you were. Excuse me a sec. What? He's... Do you think that Lee and Gail are all right about this? Well, uh, Gail right now is probably saying, Lee, mind your own business. Let them make their own mistakes. And what is Lee saying? He's taking it like a man, but uh, I think we should let him off the hook. <laughs> ah. You want me to get that? No, I don't want to talk to you. What do you want to talk to you? Let the machine get it. <laughs> but you know what? What? I need a machine that calls people back. <laughs> Come on. You know of one? No, I don't. So, uh, everything okay? No, everything's wonderful. I was just telling Gail how happy I am for you.
That's crazy. Do you know that? Do you think so? so, but I could use a little demonstration. <laughs> that could be arranged. I'll be back. Congratulations. Uh, so are we. <laughs> what do you mean, so are you? We are. Yeah. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Well, that's great. Uh, you know what? In honor of this uh, surprising but very nice occasion, drinks are on the house. Uh, I haven't got time for that. You've got to help me find Lucy. She stole my baby. She is manipulative, self-centered, hysterical. I think that you are born in a hysteria yourself. What, 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 what are you talking about? Come, you're not upset. I mean, she's, she's wrecking our lives here. She can't wreck anything. Ah, oh boy, oh boy, are you something else? No <laughs> wonder Lucy is so jealous of you. That's what this is all about here. I mean, she'll do anything to keep us from being happy. Well, it won't work. You're right, it won't. Because Mac is going to find Lucy. Well, I'm glad he agreed to take the case. Yeah. I bet she has no idea that I sick the detective on her. Do you want me to get that? Yeah, yeah, grab it. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, Catherine. What a surprise to find you at Scott's. Well, tonight has just been full of surprises. Hasn't it, though? <laughs> Is Scott there? I would just love to talk to him. Uh, yeah, he's right here, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Thanks for calling. Oh. And she's running around living it up there, you know, out bloody drinking pina coladas. Look, she could not have gone very far tonight. And, and besides, now we have Mac and Felicia on the case. So that's all of us against one poor little pregnant woman. I think the odds are in our favor. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. What am I obsessing about here? I'm just nutty, huh? That's all. Happy ending. Well, that maybe that's because disappearing is a pretty far-fetched thing to do. What if she goes into labor prematurely? I mean, what if she needs a medical, emergent medical? What, what if there's nobody around? Do you want to know around? what I think? Do you want to know what I really, truly, really yeah, think? Yeah, she's not coming back. The opposite. I think that she wants you to find her, and she's going to make sure that you do. How can you be so sure? If Lucy was serious about this, she would have taken off, and you never would have heard from her again. It's just been a matter of hours, and she's already called you, daring you to try to find her. So stay tuned. It won't be long before she throws out the next clue. You late night shoppers have been calling in. Oh, Mac. You know, I don't think that's a great idea. You know, because he's not going to have anything new to report. You already called him twice. You're yeah, right. We were supposed to spend this evening talking about our wedding. I know. And I hate to even say this, but I think we should postpone the wedding. Postpone it? Until this whole Lucy crisis is over. Let me tell you something, all right? With Lucy, there's always crises. Listen to me. I want our wedding to be perfect. I want it to be a peaceful, wonderful celebration. And that is not possible with everything that's going on around us. I think that we just need to focus on one thing at a time. I'm really, really mad at Lucy. Because I love you, and I can't wait to just live together. Well, let's get Lucy and the baby back here first, okay? All right, but just as long as you don't go disappearing on me. I'm not going anywhere. Good. And I promise you that once this is over, I am going to make your life so great and so much fun that Lucy 
going to seem like a, just a bad dream. And will you be careful what you promise? I may hold you to that. Well, I hope so. For a long, long, long time. <laughs>